So, you know what I mean? Yo, what's up, everybody? Thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of Kane Said. And I'm your host, Kane Bradfield. Y'all know my slogan. The fame is free, but the grind costs, baby. Yo, today, got a special guest in the house, man. I got a ball in the house, man. How you doing, man? I'm good, Coach. Appreciate you having me. Man, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, man, let the people know who you are, baby. Uh, my name is Justin Moore. I'm from Callaway High School. I mean, play baseball, get after it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, big dog, listen, man. First of all, man, it's crazy. When you walked in this doggone gym night, man, I didn't know who the crap you were, man. Like, you have grown up, you know what I mean? You, you like, hey, for real, bro, you like a baller, man. Appreciate you. You like a baller, man. So, listen, man, let's, let, let's go into this conversation, man. Tell me, first of all, tell me more about you. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let the viewer, let the people know. If people say who is Justin, who is Justin? I'm um, just a kid from Lagrange, you know, just trying to trying to make it. Yeah, not a lot of people get the chance. Yeah, yeah, you know, just, yeah. I've been blessed so far, and I'm just still going. Still going. I dig that, man. So, big dog, man. How long have you been loving baseball, though, man? Uh, ever since I was little. I mean, I played when I was little. And I quit for a while because I didn't really like it, but then yeah. I, my parents got me back into it, and it's been all over ever since. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What age was that, man? You know what I'm saying? That, I mean, that you said, mom. Oh. Mom, dad, you know what I mean? I don't like this thing. Probably about five, six. Yeah. But I'm going to tell you something, though, man. When you five, it's because right now I have a six-year-old. Mm. And last year, man, he tried baseball. And, uh, and to this day, he's telling me, Dad, I don't want to play no more. I don't know what about that five and six-year-old yeah. thing, big dog. But he's saying that right now, too, man. But tell me what age, big dog, that you say, hold up. I'm liking this thing. I started playing, you know, like eight, nine years old. But it wasn't until, like, 12, 13, when it really started to pick back up, it really started to fall more in love with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you play travel ball too? Yes, sir. Okay, tell me about that, man. Travel ball, that's I feel like that's the most fun I've had so far. Really? Yes, so sir. so what program were you with with, with, with travel uh, ball? I had a, we had like a little small group. Yeah. We played with, we were called the Mudcats. Man. Okay, the Mudcats. Yeah. And then once it like really, really started to pick up, then we started to get more serious with it. And we yeah. played for XL Baseball Academy out of... Uh, yeah, where it's from. I think it's from Oxford, Oxford, Oxford. Alabama. Okay, yes, okay, sir. okay, okay. Mudcats. So who, yeah. who came with the name Mudcats? Uh, our coach. <laughs> Give him a shout out, man. Get a coach, Coach Dan Waller. <laughs> Go, Dan. Appreciate you, baby, for the Mudcats, man. You know, what I mean? hey, look, the Mudcat. The reason why he got this love right now, man. So big dog. Okay. So now, all right. You know what I'm saying? All right. So once you, you know, finished the, you know, Mudcats, and then you went to team. What was it? Excel. Excel. Yes, Tell sir. me about that program, man. Uh, they they showed love since the beginning. I okay. appreciate it. Every they, you said it was, in, it was in Oxford. Yes, Alabama. sir. Okay. Or my high school coach got me into them. Uh, and then we picked up with them. Yeah. We played a couple times. Then I, I really liked the way they handled things. Yeah. And then we came back. You know, we played a whole spring season with them, and I loved it. That's, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. So, okay, man. Let, I mean, let's go a little further, right? Now, I want to talk about influence for a second. You know, yes, before sir. we get to... You know what I'm saying? Your high school years, man. Talk about influence, man. In your early years of playing travel ball or just ball in general, man. I mean, talk about some of the people who mentor you. or Talk about some people who just influence you. Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, it would be my parents for sure. Off the real. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then uh, my coaches back when I played in the All-Stars, Coach Charles Mosley, Scott Shout Thompson. out, baby. Yes. All them. Yeah, man. And then Ben Jackson. Okay. All, all those guys. Yeah. They yeah. showed love since the beginning. Influenced man. me big time. Yeah. So, 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 so listen, man. You know, man, baseball is a game of, and I, I tell everybody it's so crazy, man. I'm, I'm going to tell you a story for a minute, too. Baseball is, is a game of failure. Yes, right? sir. You know what I'm saying? How do you handle that? I mean, some people handle it some ways. Some people handle it different ways. It's just about how you go about yourself. That really makes you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, big dog, so let's graduate a little bit. Let's go to high school ball, mm -hmm. okay? Let's talk about that, man. Give me your journey of, of high school ball. Uh, I played at Lafayette the yeah. first in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And then in October of my freshman year, then I transferred to Callaway. Yeah. And then I got the opportunity to play my freshman year on varsity. Coach Hub gave me the chance. Yo, but, but let listen, it. freeze you down. Give me that emotion, though, bro. He coming up to you, big dog. And, and, and telling you that you're ready as a ninth grader. Mm -hmm. Give me that emotion. That man. was just a blessing in itself. I and then I just signed from there. Yeah. Took off. Yeah. So, okay, talk about pressure for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, man, you're a ninth grader, man. And you know what I'm saying? How did you handle that pressure, though? Come in, I really feel like I didn't, I didn't have nothing to lose, really. Okay. So it really wasn't no pressure. Yeah. And then once we get into the playoffs, then pressure really starts to pick up. And now we've been in, I think, 
three Final Fours since I've been there every single year. Yeah, yeah. Come in. I remember one. Uh, what year was that, bro? Y'all had that. Um, um, what year was that, big dog? You know, what I mean, that Final Four year. I remember because I remember what's name was was playing with you guys then. Uh, Miles, uh, Juice. Mm-hmm. That year. You that, know, was, uh, that was. That was last year. That was last, last year, year? Yes, sir. Not what last year was it? I think it was. Really? Yes, sir. Dang. Y'all had that deep, deep run with that. I remember that. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, Big, I'm going to tell you the story real quick, man. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, me growing up, Big, I didn't play baseball, bro. Mm-hmm. And so I never experienced, you know what I'm saying, guys like you pitching to, you know what I'm saying, yes, to me, right? So, the other day, so in, in my facility, man, you know, I recently got a, a, a pitching machine. Yeah. You feel me? Yes, sir. So, I got up in there, man. I just want to see what's up. I mean, first of all, I don't know how to swing to be mm-hmm. real. I'm a lefty. You know what I mean? I don't know how to swing. I got in there, bro. I salute y'all. You feel me? That ball was coming and mm-hmm. it making noise. You feel me? So I, I, tell, I tell everybody, it's so crazy. I, I made a post on Facebook. I said, yo, I salute every baseball, softball player because you got to be slightly thrown off yeah. to sit in there. You know what I mean? Let the pitch come at you 80 miles, 90 miles, 100 miles per hour, man. So I salute you guys, man. So that, that's, that, 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 that's like no lie. It's like scary. Yeah, it's like scary though, man. So, 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 big homie. So, let me ask you this, man. You know, what I'm saying now you're in high school, man. You know, you getting down to, you know, getting ready to figure out collegiate. Yes, sir. Give me that process, man. Give me that process of of, of you sitting with your parents, man, preparing. You know what I mean? Going to the next level. Yes, sir. Uh, playing at the next level is blessing in itself and all yeah. that. And then once we had, once I had to talk with my parents. They were they was all in. They was ready for me to go to play college ball. Yeah, and I just can't worry. I wasn't ready to be there. Yeah. So so you, you know what I mean before we start talking about the school, big dog. So tell me, you know what I mean give me that process of 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 you choosing. You know what I mean let people know you know school you chose, but give me the process of you finally saying, yo, I think this is school I want to go to. Uh, well, recently I committed to. Lurleen B. Wallace, LBW Community College. Yeah. Shout, shout out Andalusia, Alabama. There we go. Yes, sir. Alabama showing love for you all way around, yes, sir. baby. Um, and then I, that was one of the first schools I visited, and then I visited plenty more. Yeah. And then I really wanted to play for somebody who wanted me to play for them. Mm. You don't want to play for nobody that really don't want you. Yeah. You want to show, play with somebody who shows love from the beginning. Yeah. And then that's what they did. It felt a small town. Andalusia feels like a home away from home. Okay. Okay. That's, that's what made it for me. Man, so, let me tell you something, man. The biggest thing you said then, bro, the fact that, you know what I'm saying, being wanted, mm-hmm. there's no better feel than that. You know what I'm saying? You can go to any school you want to go to, but you go in that thing, like, I'm like a relationship. Yeah. The girl don't want you. You yeah. know what I mean? You can feel a little weird, right? I feel you. You know what I mean? So, the fact that they do want you, man. So, that's a salute in that. So, you know what I mean? Give me that, like, 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 you know, give me that night. That night that you decided to, Choose that school. Give me that night. Yeah, I think it was an emotional night for really? everybody. Yes, sir. Yeah. It was just something we've always dreamed of, going yeah. to play college ball somewhere. Yeah. It was everything. Yo, because you know what I mean? Cause how we were talking about earlier, man, on a small percentage, get the opportunity. Yeah. You feel me? And I tell all, all athletes, you know what I'm saying, I train, man, that don't take it lightly. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you don't, mm-hmm. but 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 just know, man, as a million more kids wants to be in your shoes. Yes, sir. You feel me? And so when you attack this thing, you got to tackle it just like that. You know what I mean? So let's talk about preparing for college. You know what I'm saying? Where you at right now as, as far as preparing for college, man? Where you at mentally? You know, getting ready for – I mean, you got to – you still got to ball some more, though. Yes, sir. But I'm saying, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, going into this year, man, where your head is at? My head still still where it's at now. I got to yeah. take it one step at a time. Yeah. You can't get too ahead of yourself. Yeah. You got to live in prison. So, so imagine, I'm asking something. I mean, do you got any type of expectation for this year? No, sir. It's just let it ride. Just let it ride, yes, right? Sir. Yo, so I'm saying, so you ain't got like no personal goal that you don't wrote down and be like, you know what I mean? Yes, sir. Gotta go get that ring. You gotta get that ring. Yes. yes. So, so, so I'm gonna tell you, brother. Like, and, and, and I say this, man. You know, set your bar high. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Set your bar high because when you set it high, man, you gonna conquer a whole lot of stuff trying to get there. You know what I mean? So let's talk about leadership for a second. You know what I mean? When did you fall into that leadership role? Uh, probably my junior year. Yeah, we really our seniors. They were they were good leaders and they showed us how to lead. Yeah, but they really they showed us that when I was a sophomore. But mm. then when they were seniors, everybody everything was died down, and then somebody had to step up and show them what it was about. Yeah, I dig that man. I dig that man. So 
You know what I mean? Talk about, you know, I'm your coaches right now, man. Talk about, you know, the influence that your current coaches have on your life. Talk yeah, to them about that. They had a huge influence. Yeah. I, ever since I stepped on the scene, all the coaches, they've shown us the love from the beginning, giving me plenty of opportunity to prove myself and all that. I appreciate that. Yeah, name drop. Give me some names, baby. Uh, Coach Hubbard. Shout out to Coach Hubbard, baby. Uh, Coach Freeman. Yeah. Coach, Coach Phelps. Yeah. Coach Hop. Yeah. All of them. Yeah. So, 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 you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, man. One thing about coaches, man, you know, I think as coaches, man, we try to, uh, you know, so not take away from, you know, people's father, but we try to be father figures, man. You know, what kind of role have them coaches did that to you and they, before that? Tremendously. Yeah. They treat me like their, their son. Yeah. They took me under their wing since day one. Yeah. It's, it's always been there. Always been there, right? I dig that, man. So, so big dog. So, let me ask you something, man. So, one thing that I do, you know what I'm saying, is, uh, is uh, you know, I really believe in motivation. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Tell me, what's your daily motivation? Uh, just my mom. She's the one. She's the one that motivates me every day. She roll right. She yes, sir. Roll with you. Get up every day. Go do everything. Yeah. Come and tell you something, bro. Like you know what I'm saying. I, I always bring this up. You know, because I always ask about you know your support system. Cause a lot of times athletes, man, you know what I'm saying, don't realize that the sacrifice the parents got to do mm -hmm. in order for you to go where you're going right now. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying, man. So, so big dog. I, I, I want to talk about this too. You know, so I saw the baseball, man. You know, so what is some stuff you like doing outside of baseball? Golf. Oh, big. you play golf? Oh, golf? yeah. Oh, yeah. Big golf guy. For real? Yes, sir. A1? Yeah. Oh. Like the fish. Yeah. Hunt. Hang out with friends and family, the boys, you know? Yeah. All that. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So give me that fishes, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know what you, you know, tell me. Tell me your favorite catch. Uh, My favorite catch of all time? Yeah. Um... It'd probably be my first one with my granddad, man. Yeah. It didn't matter how big it was. It was just, it was just with him, man. The memories, though, yeah. right? Yeah. Can't change that for nothing, big dog. I dig that, big homie. And so listen, man. You know what I mean? So towards the end of every show, big dog, I always, you know what I'm saying, give the people the opportunity, uh, you know, to bless the listeners. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, big dog, we reach all over the place, man. So um, there's somebody who want to be in your shoes, right? Yes, there's somebody who's looking up to you. Yes, you know what I mean? I, I'm a, I, again, I'm a firm believer that, you know, you got somebody you're watching, but there's somebody watching you. Yeah. You feel me? So leave something, man, you know what I mean, to the listeners for me. Something don't, positive. Don't never give up, man. Just follow follow your dreams, set your, set the bar high, and just go from there. Go from there. Yes, sir. I dig that, man. Big dog, plug your social media, man. Let people know how to find you. Uh, Add me on Instagram, justin.more16. That's about it. That's about it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Man, listen, man. Shout out, man. First of all, I'm going to say something before I get out, man. Listen, man. Big Dog spends the time in the dungeon, man. He's a grinder. I don't know if you remember the Dungeon Speed Program. Oh, yeah. You remember oh, that, yeah. John? Yes, sir. Yeah, Dungeon Speed Program, man. So, listen, man. He's a worker, man. I can't wait to check him out this year. It will not be our last interview. You know, we're going to talk some more during, yes, during the season, man. So, everybody, check him out, man. He's going to ball out for Seaway Callaway out of LaGrange, Georgia, baby. You good to go? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Y'all know what it is, baby. Zip him up. Damn, good job, my boy. Appreciate it. Good job, man.